Ahoy hoy everyone, welcome to another installment of Fangame Fridays. This time we are venturing into the world of Pokemon and have, with that, we will be checking out Pokemon Sacred Phoenix. This is a completely fan-made game. The people that have made it, as it says right here, they are just non-professional game developers and artists. And, fun and surprisingly, they don't accept money for it, which is a nice change of pace honestly. But I'm already loving this little menu thing they have going on for it, and the music sounds fantastic, I love it. Trinita University, and you bet this was made with inspiration from Scarlet and Violet, because I'm, I remember, well not I remember, I'm pretty sure in those games you have to go to a Pokemon University, or a school at least. So honestly I'm getting Scarlet Violet vibes as well as Black and White. And I'm really intrigued as to what this game has in store for us, and oh wow, they look fantastic! I love the designs already. Sure, yeah, we'll play as him. That should be fine, need to input your name, no problemo. For this, we are not going to be Alto, instead, as is tradition with the channel here, we will just go with our usual name, DJ. No problem. No problemo. Okay, so you are the Pokemon Professor for Phoenix Rising. Ciao. So what do? Ah, oh, this just screams black and white. It's surprising you don't really see opening cutscenes like this. Well, I guess considering from. Generation 6 onwards, it's all in 3D, so they've kind of made it look more fancy, but... I don't know, the simplicity of this, it just... looks better. I don't know what it is, but I love how they just have townsfolk going around doing random things. Like a postman delivering mail. So, a random trainer just walking around with their Pokemon, a fisherman just... Fishing. Aw, Nidorans. Oh, it's okay. Oh, they're okay. Just follow. Oh, good stuff. But even just that little thing where it showed like Hawthorne Woods, it just looks so good. I'm really loving this already, and I've only been. Well, as you saw before, how I have like a practice file, that's only been for maybe like five minutes. And that's primarily for the fact that I can't, I don't have walking shoes. But generally, the old man over here, he's just going over how this area, this place of like fauna just looks fantastic. And he's been a lot happier since he's decided to move out this way. But he didn't do it just for a pretty view. Well, he's explaining why, because he just finds the place pure, it allows him to think without necessary distractions like technology and just industrialism. It's a nice metaphor in a way, saying like, just go out into nature and it allows you to have the purest of thoughts. Yeah, finding a thinking place was simple, a quiet place. Yeah, he says, nowadays... It's a lot harder to do that with the world being very, very complicated, which honestly, he's not wrong. It is a lot harder nowadays to just think on your... just to think. Yeah, it is one thing that one realises not all is right with the world. He's not wrong, he really isn't. It's a strange philosophical sense. And of course, being a windbag mate. Well, of course, there's that too. But he just, he kind of speaks prophetically. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we get journals. We love this. Okay, as the game says, you can either press X to open this, which it looks, oh, this menu is bloody fantastic. I love that. Or if you want to access the journal directly, just press J on your keyboard and bam, you have that. It just explains how... Well, what the objective is for us, which can be really helpful if it was a full game and you haven't played this in forever. 
so you won't exactly get lost on what you have to do, but wait, did I see it? Then Kate say side quest? Main quest, side quest, pokey hunt? You can, there's even notes, cool. All right. So let's see what this, wait, what? Oh, hold on, when I played this before, I couldn't even run. Oh, I love that. So at some point, you'll be able to actually talk, well, run if you, like, press your Z button. Oh, thank goodness. Because after this little cutscene goes over, I'll show you how fast I was walking, unfortunately. I decided to come over, there, come over one last time, warms an old man's heart. Oh, I'm glad to make your acquaintance, old man. Why is this, okay, so that would explain why it is such a momentous occasion. So we are off to university, we're receiving our first Pokemon. I wonder what the first Pokemon, well, yeah, like what the, well, you know how it is with all Pokemon games. You get to choose three starters. What are the starters is one I'm trying to ask. You nervous about the events to come? Honestly, yes, I am quite nervous. The doctor will give you the best of the lot. Professor Lotus met with me before her own journey. Trinity University surely snaps up the best talents of the Hawthorne region. That is honestly such a cool name for a region. Both of you the prides of our little nocturne town. Well, all the region names for the mainline series have been pretty cool. I mean, come on. You have like Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Yunova, Kalos, Alola, Gala, and now you have the Paldea. They've all been pretty cool names. Of course, some have had better stories than others. But overall, the games haven't been that bad. Yes, there's been bits and pieces that have really confused fans for decades. Get excited to see him. Yeah, mother's doing well. Said that. I guess so. I guess mom's sad. What is? What is perplexing? Oh, okay. But to have her only child about to depart. Well, yeah, that kind of makes sense for any children. Well, for any parents, really. Why well, when my own children took their leave from me, I... Look, any parent would subconsciously be sad. Wait, I have some bad news, TJ. I think perhaps there is a possibility. Oh, that's so bad news. Oh, how dare you be out of tea. Your father was a tea fanatical. Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. Well, I guess if I have... Wait, hold on. Why do we have to go back to our parents if we have to then come back? There's tea up here! Why can't I just have this cup of tea? Oh, God. Oh, God. That just looks so peaceful. A cup of tea on the couch near a fire. Oh, that is so peaceful. Oh my lord. But yeah, this is how fast I was moving in my practice file. Even though I got up to the bit where you go into the old man's house, for some reason it didn't give me that little message saying if you press the Z button you can run. I was pressing everything and no luck. Oh? Oh no, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Nidoran Mail. I didn't mean to do anything, I'm just trying to run home to my mother. Turn town. Okay, this has to be our house. Oh, mother dearest. Oh, father dearest? No, I'm not looking for... Why don't you ask Tim where she is, the soothsayer? Oh, okay. Sure, what we got? Anyone up here? No, wait. No, that is a lamp. I'm seriously just getting black and white vibes from the overworld, and I freaking love that. It looks so nice. I hope other fan games can be like this. Because I've got a few Pokemon fan games downloaded on my PC already that I'm really excited to try out. A lot of people here, it's quite... Yeah, cool. 
Yeah, so there's a few Pokemon fan games I am really excited to actually try out for the channel and everything, so I'm really interested in what they have in store. I hope that it... this has honestly set like a pr uh, expectation for me now. <laughs> Can I take this tea? No. Okay, mother, where are you? I need some tea bags. Is this our house? Or is this a school? That's Professor's lab. I'm trying to... Wait. Ah. Okay, lesson in destiny. Collect tea bags, visit the lab, meet the suits. So what, I have to... Uh, I guess go to the lab first? I guess so. What is this music? It's phenomenal. Seriously, it's catchy as hell. Professor Lotus said you would be here way late. So, so who are you? Wait, you're Tim. No, it's no uh, welcome you here for your first part. No! Oh, no! Some kind of errand took her out to Tranquilo Town earlier today. Woodwork never been my scene, so you are the assistant. She's a, a hero? We get to see her that... Yeah, um, I'm stalling, really. I just don't know when she's getting... <laughs> okay, what... What Pokemon do we have? Really? You're gonna let me have a sneak peek? Pretty cool. Okay, what do we have? Okay, so we have Petalil. There's Growlithe. Oh, Star you? Yes! Oh, I already know who I'm going with. What? Oh, that's cool! You can actually do a soft reset? Wait, are they basically saying that you can shiny hunt the starter? That's my understanding. Running shoes, nifty when you're stuck. Wait, what? Sometimes you may find yourself wanting to restart the game. Press F12 to restart? What the hell? You never really see a game that lets you want to restart. Well, yes, we are taking Staryu. Oh, that is so cool. We are gonna call you Starman. <laughs> Such a lame ass name. <laughs> Say hello to Starman. <laughs> sure, we'll go with that. If you ever wish to put your Pokemon back in its ball, so control. Okay. You're gonna love Trinity University now that you have a lifelong friend. Cool. No. I don't want this stuff, I want tea. I don't think I can let you go exactly without having seen her first. Okay. I'm not going there yet. No, no, no. So, Professor Lotus, we just have to wait. Yeah, that's... You're gonna help me... Professor... But she's also a little scary. Maybe you don't think that since you've known her for so long. Sorry. Right, what's that? I swear. Okay. Yes! Can I go? You can go, no hard feelings, I'll see you later though, this was really great. Okay, can I go? All I want to do is collect tea bags from mom. I don't even know where our house is. All I want to do is go to my house, speak to my mother, get some tea bags, so then I can speak to that old man. Well, not this one. Okay, cool. Discuss your work. Yes, thank you. I would like to actually see my star you. Thank you. Pokemon. Summary. Okay, Starman. How are you? That's not too bad. 
Okay, so Starman, you have a timid nature. You have plus for speed, low physical attack. That's not bad, I don't think. You have a pretty cool ability. I am quite happy with that. That's actually not a bad nature for a star you. So now can I go home and get those tea like, get those tea bags, thanks? This better be my house. Oh thank heavens. She looks just like me. Mother, I wish to have some tea bags. Doesn't have tea, you didn't check. <laughs> oh, seriously? Mother! Living all alone out there, we both know it's not the first time. We grow in his own tea. Beautiful in those woods. Oh, thank god, thank you. If you remember, you did cut away that broken radio. We all, Every Pokemon game, we always seem to have a father that's either just left like left us completely or is just in another town oh cute honestly it looked like we were giving staryu the tea bags and i'm like how is staryu going to be able to carry it okay i don't really <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> Let's run back to the soothsayer. Thank you, so hop to it. Thank you. Ah, oh, finally, we got those tea bags. Bring the tea bags back to the soothsayer. I keep thinking it's saying sooth. Like, yeah, as if you're pronouncing tooth, but you pronounce it as sooth. Okay, let's make our way back towards the old man, or the soothsayer. Give him the tea bags and see what else he has for us. Where do you go first up? Okay, I was gonna. S I was confused for a second. I know you've witnessed me experience the visions before. The premonition which passed was very powerful. Glimpse of death, darkness, rabid flames, and go what the hell? This is very intense. To fixate on the end of the world, it would make it impossible to fully live one's life. Let us drink. Tea is a fine remedy for such stresses. Honestly, tea is such a good remedy for stress. I don't know what it is about tea, but... Well, obviously, depending on what sort of tea you have, because there's like chamomile, there's mint, there's Earl Grey, English breakfast. Depending on what sort of tea you have, it can... So it helps you alleviate whatever stress you may be feeling or if you're feeling tiredness chamomile it just puts you to sleep i don't know what it is about tea considering it has caffeine in it yet it has the opposite effect of coffee how does that work question your path return here i shall Ooh, that's pretty cool Okay, so we've completed our lesson in Destiny Quest. I'm going to just check. Actually, it's in our bag. Let's go into... There we go, town map. I want to see what the world... This is so freaking like X and Y in a... Oh, it's Kind of like X and Y, but I'd say predominantly more like black and white. Just the layout of the map. Okay, let's actually check what do we have next. Well, obviously we have to go back to Nocturne Town, so Route 1 then Tranquilo Town. We can either go straight to Trad Farm, or we go right to Route 2 and then Timber Woods, which leaves us to Sonata Town. Somehow we could eventually make our way to Biwa Gardens, but if we go... Well, I don't think we can go that way, considering it's just water. Uh, route 2, so we've got to go this way. So, Sonata Town, route then Excello Village, Mesto Mountain, Arietta Forest, Onde City, Requiem Fields. I love that word, by the way, Requiem. There's a lot of cool town names. Alright, what do we have? We are currently in Hawthorne Woods. 
we're now in the town, well, we're now in Nocturne Town. So we'll make our way to the east. So we can actually access Route 1 and see how the game, well, how the battle system is in this game. Let us check this area. So Route 1, what can we encounter? So it looks like there's Pokemon up to about like Generation 8. Uh, I think like Generation 8, I believe. Okay, Starman, Tackle, Water Gun. Thank goodness. Ooh, I like the animations. Ow. Okay, I'm not going to be showing every battle, just going to continue a little bit in this just to see what the game is actually like. And I want to check out what the professor will be like when we actually talk to her. Although I really do love the assets that they have for the game. Okay, so we've ran away from that Pidgey. I want to get... I don't think I can even get across. So we got a potion, cool. I guess I have to go up. Don't you dare look up, mate. Thank you. Okay, I'll probably explain it once we get to... Well, into another battle. Now, uh, because we've picked up a potion, it sort of, it has actually given you like what button to press to actually use items. Like we could just do the old go to bag, go to whatever the column is, select the item and use it. Or as it shows on screen, you can just press the press Y and it'll use up that potion. I'm sure it will change depending on like how many items you have and all that. But for now, we have made our way to Tranquilo Town. I know this is not wild grass, so let us get ourselves a repel. And then I want to try and find out where is Professor Lotus. Okay, so for this, we have to meet Professor Lotus in Tranquilo Town. Okay, cool. So we've done that. I don't think you are Professor Lotus. Yeah, I know. Wait. Ah, oh, cute. It's like, well, cuddle centric, cute, right? Yeah, that's fine. I want to speak to Professor Lotus, thank you. <laughs> Why do I feel like she would be... Ah, oh, no. Any bet she's with that big crowd of people. Let's actually check out the Pokemon Center. It's nice and cool. They heal up your Pokemon. I mean, fair. Oh, thank God we can actually run inside. Thank heavens. I was young, we couldn't even own more than- wait. Aw, oh, that is terrible. Who are you? Greetings, I'm experienced. Bookshelf critic? What? <laughs> There's such a Pokemon in a farm. We well, should have looked harder because I said- Hey kid. I'm talk- Okay. There's a bona fide fighting Pokemon in Trad Farm. You're a trainer. If you manage to catch one of them and show my friend, I'll give you something good. Guess if you got nothing better to prove, prove me wrong. Ah! Is this like a side quest we just did? Yes! That's our first side quest. Alright, cool. Where do we even buy Pokeballs, though? That's my problem. I want to know where we find po. Okay, thank you. So what is this fighting Pokemon I've got to find somehow? Where am I going to find a fighting Pokemon in this Okay, this is taking inspiration from Black, Black and White 2. Easy. Because I remember that farm instance. So crazy stones. So magic of evolution, my friend. Give one of my gems. Okay, so basically evolution stones. May you evolve any Pokemon, mister? Any... Citizen... Ah! Oh. oh, what the hell? This is cool! <laughs> now let's not rush to conclusions, folks. I'm but a humble salesman. <laughs> this is cool ass! <laughs> the 
does she claim that I am a f Oh my lord, really? Professor Lotus? You're really gonna claim her a fraud? No, I thought you were the one who knew him. Who is he? Oh, wow. I mean, I'll take it. Did he run? What? Wow! Yes. Apologize for the delays. Well, I mean, fair. High speed, this is Farmer Terrence. Okay, mill tank. Yeah, that's fine. Can I just go to the farm to try and get myself some fighting Pokemon? Thank you. I just want to try and find this random fighting Pokemon. Probably some. Oh, can't my ma'am. I know you mean well when you're telling me about magic stones and evolutions and everything, but can I please just get on with? This is such an annoying caveat. Of being a Pokemon trainer. You can go around entire regions catching things, but there's always that instance where a professor or some other NPC will just bombard you with text. No, I don't want to search. Okay, can I please get on with this? I just want to complete that side quest, and then do this. Okay, so we've completed- No! Not another quest! No! <laughs> okay, we will check out- My god, this store is massive! What the hell is this? Oh my heavens, this place is gigantic! We start with 8,000 Poké Dollars? What the ever-loving hell is that? <laughs> oh my heavens! Yeah, we'll buy three potions. We already have more money than when you officially start a Pokémon game. You always start with about like two, three thousand Poké Dollars. Please don't tell me we can buy outfits. <gasps> you can at some point. Oh my heavens, that is beyond beautiful. Is this the way to the farm? Look, I don't care about you. I just want to check out the. Uh, my, don't be. Press Z. Speed up battles? Ooh. This music sounds dope! <laughs> oh wow, they're not kidding. Settle down. Settle down! <laughs> Thank you! You can learn Astonish? Go star you! I seriously just want to try to find a fighting Pokemon so I can then complete this side quest and then we can end the video. Because I want to... Oh, that's cool. Now can I start trying to find things, please? What is this fighting type? Oh, any bet. It's going to be a case of this. Well, anyway, we've seen Cutie fly, so whenever I... When I find this fighting Pokemon that we can encounter, I will meet your back when I find it. Thank the heavens! Finally, I found a fighting type! Please get caught. I want to catch this Riolu, take it back to that random fisherman. If I can't catch this Riolu, God sakes. Three. You! Oh my. One. What the hell, Riolu? Why are you this difficult? One, two... Come oh, on! <laughs> Why? One... 
I want to use tackle or water gun, but I'm scared it's going to KO you. Thank you, you good for nothing. Ah, oh, my heavens. Anyway, we've caught Riolu. I am not nicknaming it because... Okay, we will add to party because I think that's what we need to do in order. So I will meet you all when we are back in the Pokemon Center after a stupid encounter. All I could find, I mean, serious, all I could find were Willipup, Spinarak, Cutie Fly, and that's honestly all I could find until I met up with you all and found that Riolu. Yes, okay, yes, thank you. What do we get for this? Found one, huh, hi. Nice job. So what do we get? You gave us that for freaking, oh my lord. <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. Okay, so we've completed that. We've completed that quest. We are actually going to end the video here. So, for another installment of Fan Game Friday, where we take on, um whatever sort of fan game I decide. If you have any other suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll check them out. And aside from all that, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I shall see you all next time. I'll see you all soon.